So welcome to Techno Dad, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And so on today's episode, we're going to be installing Transmission, which is a BitTorrent client inside of a Docker in Open Media Vault. And today's question of the day is, what do you use your server for? And you can leave that right down below in the comments. And here we go. So what we need to do first is add in the Open Media Vault extras. So we're going to click on plugins and upload. So we're going to go to Open Media Vault extras. So we're going to click on guides. And when we go there, we're going to scroll down to OVM4 and we're going to click and download this file. And once that's done, we're going to go back to Open Media Vault, browse to our file. And OK, and that will add Open Media Vault Extras. Now we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you can see there's our Open Media Vault Extras. We're going to install that. And yes, we really want to install that. Close that. And it's going to reload. And now over to the side here, we see we have Open Media Vault Extras. We're going to click on that. Click on Docker, Edit. Enable and save. And that's going to enable the Docker repo. So then we can install Docker. And uh, then we'll be able to install lots of other things too. Again, we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and install Docker. And so click on that and press install. Yes, we really want to install it. Click close when done, and that will reload the page again. And now what we're going to do is go back to our terminal just for a second. So we've already added some users on this group. I'm sure you have some already. We have user1. And so what we're going to find out is the UID and the PID of user1. And so for that, we're going to just quickly go back to the terminal. You can SSH in, or you can use shell in the box for this. We're just going to go to the terminal for a second. Back into Docker, enable this plugin, save. And so the first thing that we're going to install is transmission. So we're going to type in Linux user, or server, excuse me. We're going to scroll down to transmission. Click on that. And here all we do is click start and it will download this. When it's done, click close and there's our container. Uh, so two things here. So if you need more information about the container, you can click here and we'll go to the web page of the maintainer of this container. So next, after we have our new Docker install, we want to make sure we have the right folders for it. So we're going to click on Shared Folders. And so you need to add in a few folders. So uh, if you go to my video about simple file sharing, it will have how to do this. Uh, but basically, you need to add a config file, a downloads file, a media file, and a watched file. Then after you've done that, you can go back to your container. And we're going to start that. Click to make it yellow, and then click Run Image. And we're going to name our, our container transmission. And we're going to make a host adapter. And now we're going to use that UID, but here we need to put PUID. Somebody had a sense of humor. Click plus, and the GID is now going to be PGID. That one is 100. So next, we're going to add in those pathways to our containers. The first one is config. So for that, we're going to scroll down to shared folders. Next, we're going to click on shared folders. Click on config. Click OK. That's our first one, and we'll click plus. Next, we're going to do our downloads. So again, we click on that folder, scroll down to shared folders, click on downloads, and OK. 
And our third one, we click on that. Install a watch folder. And so again, click on the shared folders, watched. Okay. And so there's our basic folder setup. Click save on that. And so now you can see the container is running. So to access the container, what we're going to do is copy our URL there. Click paste over here. And then and we're going to hit backspace colon 9091 and hit enter. And now you can see we have uh, the basic UI of transmission. Uh, but we want to make this easy on ourselves. And so what we're going to do is get a Chrome add-on. And so we're going to go to Remote Transmission++. plus plus. Add to Chrome, add extension, and so what we need to do at this one is get our UI again. And so again, it's just that 192 up until the 10. For me, it will be different for you. Paste that there, take out the slashes. And one other thing we're going to do is we're going to click on desktop notification. So that will basically show us on the desktop when something is started downloading. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom, click save. And we can close that. And now you can see we have a little transmission icon over on our browser. So what we'll do is we'll do a little practice download. So now we're going to scroll down to where it says BitTurrent, and we're going to right-click on Ubuntu Server. You can see here it says Download with Remote Transmission. We're going to click on that. It's going to ask us if we want to save that. And then you can see down here it says Torrent added successfully. And now when we go up to the Transmission Web Interface, it started to download Ubuntu.